Marshall improves to 5-0 and on the year. 2-1 win over High Point tonight here in Huntington. Coach, you know, you and I talked pregame about kind of coming off that emotional high of that win against Pitt on Tuesday. You come into tonight. You pull out the victory. What did you learn about your team tonight? No, there's a lot of a lot of grit. Obviously, we have a, a lot of quality, but, I mean, you know, a lot of credit to High Point. They made it very difficult, and that's one of the toughest games we've had here in a, in a long time. You know, they were very organized and very quick on the counterattack, and so I thought our guys had to dig deep. You know, it wasn't quite working in the first half. You know, we went up, and then I think... You know, we kind of sat back and they scored quite quite quickly after that. So we learned that we've got a little bit of fight in us, a little bit of grit. You know, we can see a game out. That's 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 pretty tough. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of the guys. You know, what do you, you mentioned the fact that you and I talked in pregame too, and I kind of saw some quotes from you. The counterattack was something Pitt did really well. High Point did that really well tonight as well. Second half, what did you adjust in order to really kind of thwart that attack? Yeah, we just had to get, we call it counter prevention. So we just had to make sure we had our defenders positioned correctly when we had the ball. So it's kind of keeping one mind to what could happen. And, and I think in the first half, we were just leaving too big of a gap between the two strikers. So they were able to play in, play out, and then go forward. Um, and then we were able to cut that off in the second half, partly because of that. And then we just challenged our guys, like, they're going to put numbers back. So we've got to really, really counter press. So put your head down, press the ball. And, and get it done and we really did a much much better job in the second half all, all season we've talked to feel like about matthew after every single game right that ball he had that pass he had clearing the defender's head for that goal for marco there at the end of the contest what has he brought to you you've i've talked about him being that center attacking midfielder position talk more about this the progress he's made in that attacking midfielder spot yeah i think i think sometimes unfairly he gets profiled you know as, as professional scouts looking for the the uh the next level um maybe as a winger like you know he's a pacey kid so it's like oh should he be on the wing but he's really does have a fantastic range of passing he has a great turn in that in that little 10 hole um in between the two lines and so he's really able to to pull the strings in a game from there and he kind of sees things that you know maybe others don't see because he's, he turns so quickly gets his head up and and plays those passes and, and just watching him you know go from strength to strength tonight would like to see a little bit more from them in the defensive side of the things but uh in the second half, he was definitely better than the first, for sure. So it's good to see that progress as well. Over 2,000 fans here tonight. Could you tell that throughout the contest as well? Yeah. I mean, this, that's a that's a heck of a crowd. It's your best crowd all year, right? Yeah, no, it was it was fantastic, and we, you know, they they were very lively and, and support us through. And then it, it got a little bit tense at the end. I wish I had brought Holmes on a little bit sooner because as soon as we brought on the hometown hero, they the crowd started getting back into it. And I'm like, damn, we should have done that 10 <laughs> minutes ago. You know, you look at your team's coach, you get one more contest before you go into conference play. Tuesday, Cleveland State comes in. What do you want to see from your team in that last non-conference matchup before you really get into that Sunbelt play? Yeah, I mean, it seems like we've got an age because we've got an extra day off. We've got three days off in between. Um, you know, I want to see us... I'd like to see us go a little bit deeper down the bench, to be honest. I think we're going to need a lot of guys. I kind of intended on that a little bit tonight, but, uh, you know, it was, it was kind of a, a really intense game. Um, and so we were trying to get the tactics right before we made the subs. And, but I think we're going to need a lot of subs on Tuesday uh, to kind of keep the energy levels high. And I'd like to see us just have a little bit more. Um, we kind of did some really nice things on the ball in the build here. I'd like to see us kind of impose ourselves even more on the game, get that counter prevention fixed right away and get that counter pressing from minute one. Okay. 5-0, and oh, best start in program history. Congrats, Thank Coach. You. Thank you.